So there was things that happened here during the whole pandemic e lockdown thing where other nations were freaking out and we people in Northern Ireland just looked at it and went, and what? <laughs> <laughs> like, they turned around and they told us you're only allowed out once a day for exercise. <laughs> I'd say there's at least two people in this room lived under those rules for at least 20 years. <laughs> You all have to wear masks. <laughs> Fucking good old days. <laughs> Although I guarantee you, if you look hard enough, you'll find a Provo anti masker out there somewhere. <laughs> there was a hotline that you could ring to tell the people that your neighbours were doing things they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Everyone else was like a fucker. Oh, that's a disgrace. A phone number you ring up to tell tales on your neighbours. Your mom over was never fucking all but <laughs> <laughs> You're going to a phone number, you can ring a number and say your neighbours are doing shit they shouldn't be doing. We're rocking around here going, fuck's sake, that's so 1985. <laughs> you remember the ads? So that's the only difference in the hotline then, the, hot, the hotline now and the hotline then. We advertised our hotline back in the day. Do you remember the advert? Do you remember the song? Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, dad, I don't know when. Well, actually, I do 15 to 20 years, depending on your behavior. <laughs> we'll get together then. We used to call them the IRA ads. I said that in Korean, and someone put their hand up and went, What, like recruitment videos? <laughs> It's like, no, mate, no, it wasn't, wasn't, no, it's not like that ad you see now on the TV. If you can fix a bike, you can fix an aircraft carrier. <laughs> like, fuck me, British Army, that's quite the leap. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that, it wasn't the middle of Carnation Street, we shame, he turned up. If you have ever punched your mate in an argument, then you could probably take part in a punishment beating on a complete stranger. <laughs> Join their ad, be the best. <laughs> What's the heck, man? <laughs> oh, there was an, do you know what anyone under I'd say about 30 is probably looking at me right now and go, what out are you talking? Right, so here you go, here's, here's the ad, right? This is, this is the ad. There he is. He's going off the tree. Rash off. She's not happy. The stuff doesn't go so well, he ends off in jail, right? And when you see meatloafs in this ad, watch him. When you're coming home, She's still not happy. Right? Now, people have asked me, I've called this the IRA ad. And that's what we call this, kids, it was the IRA ad. And people say to me, but Terry, in, in none of those ads did it ever say what side he was on. How do you know he was in the rap? <laughs> Lock it up. <laughs> when you join the rap, you get a pair of leather gloves and a standard issue fucking moustache. He's in the rap. 